Perfect. A warm hello wherever you're tuning in from. Um, it gives me great pleasure on behalf of the AICR committee um, and Dries and I who head up AICR education um, as well as Peter from Lighthouse Organisational Development to extend a very warm welcome um, to those of you tuning into this recording. Um, in this short webinar, we're going to give you an overview of the leadership certification. So this is a certification that's been developed with front office professionals in mind, and this is a chance for you to continue your personal development journey. Um, as a graduate uh, myself, I can attest for how valuable uh, the learning outcomes of this um, course are. If you have any questions after watching this short um, info session, please do make sure to reach out to us, either to Therese or to myself, um, and indeed to Peter if you have any specific questions. But what we'll do just now is take you through an overview of what the programme entails and um, to give you an insight to see if this is something you might like to enrol in for 2023. Without further ado, I'm very pleased to introduce you to Peter from Lighthouse Organisational Development. Peter, the stage is yours. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Thanks, thanks, Louise, for that introduction. Um, hello, my name is Peter. I'm um, one of the learning managers and program designers of the leadership certification program and managing partner at Lighthouse. Um, my role throughout the program will be, uh, I'll be your main contact person when it comes to um, rolling out new courses and helping you get through the curriculum. Um, and with that, um, I'll kick off uh, with a quick overview of what you can expect uh, from the program. So the AICR leadership certification, uh, the idea was to create a digital learning and development opportunity, um, specifically for people in front office positions um, to help you advance in your careers and to create kind of a recognizable sign of excellence. So that was the vision for the program. Um, and we'll go into more about how we uh, brought that vision to life in terms of program design. Uh, before we do that, here is our um, content. Here's our kind of our agenda for today. So we'll talk about some of the program benefits, what you can expect, the objectives. We'll look at the program architecture, which also includes our timeline, um, the methodology, that we use to uh, curate these courses. Uh, we'll look at what kind of e-learning content you can expect, um, the assessment that we use to kick off the program, uh, a sneak peek into coaching. Um, then we'll uh, touch on the topic of the change project, which is a, um, a fairly new um, addition to the, to the program. Uh, and that came out of um, feedback that we collect from participants. That's a very important part of the program. Um, we look at program costs, uh, what the application deadline is, um, the milestones, and um, I'll introduce very briefly uh, your engagement team, my colleagues at Lighthouse. So let's kick off with the benefits. So we see four key benefits of the program. Number one, um, one of the goals and, and benefits of the program is to create added value for AICR members. Uh, number two, help you advance in your careers. Um, and thirdly, you know, create a high quality learning uh, opportunity that's, that's designed specifically for AICR. So everything, all the courses that you'll see um, in the LC program, they are um, hand curated and with with the vision for the learning uh, leadership certification program in mind, kind of curated for AICR. And, and as I said earlier, also to create a recognizable sign of excellent, excellence in, in front of his positions through this program um, and, and through the, the growing alumni network now. So what are some of our objectives for this learning journey? Um, so we've got a six month learning journey ahead of us starting in January next year. Uh, this learning journey is split into uh, three different modules. 
uh, each require approximately six hours of time commitment per module, um, which also includes two individual online coaching sessions and then uh, working on your change project, which we'll talk about later. Uh, again, all the courses that you'll find in the LC program uh, are handpicked, interactive e-learning courses from some of the best uh, off-the-shelf content providers out there. And they address topics like conflict resolution, communication skills, customer service, leadership, and, and, and many other. Um, and then the, the change project, the goal of the change project is to help you apply these skills um, in, in a real life um, situation and, and, and kind of bring uh, the theoretical knowledge to a more practical application. Um, the centerpiece for, for all the learning interactions is a dedicated learning management system for AICR. This is where you'll find all the e-learning courses. Um, you can access this at any time, I'm, I'm sure uh, many of you are familiar with uh, LMSs and, and e-learning. Um, here you'll see a clear overview of your learning journey, your progress. That was an important design principle for us um, to, to, to create that clarity about what you need to do and when. Uh, and of course, uh, another important design principle, because we know that you know, hospitality work schedules can be demanding that you can actually um, do these courses at your own schedule when you have time and, and in, in a way that it fits your work schedule so you can start and pause courses um, as you wish. Good. Um, and so here's, here's our program architecture, uh, our six month learning journey. Uh, what we do is we we usually have a live kickoff webinar in January, where we bring the uh, entire cohort together, where you can also get to know your peers from uh, other AICR chapters. Um, then we do an, an NBI assessment. I'll introduce that um, in a minute. Um, and then we then we start the three modules. Uh, the first module is all about self-awareness and communication, and includes the first coaching session. Um, and you can see the, the topics that you can expect here are feedback, conflict, resolution, communication, and some others. Um, the first module runs from February through March, um, and then we collect feedback. So these bubbles here at the end of each module represent us collecting feedback both on the course level and on, um, on the program level. And this is always very important so that we can further improve uh, the program. That's how, for example, you know, back when I think Louise, we started the leadership certification program about six years ago. Yeah, uh, this is the sixth year. Right. And at that time, the, the change project was not part of the curriculum. So, but that came out of feedback that we collected that it would be really good to have something where participants can apply uh, this newly gained knowledge. So the feedback is, is very important and it helps us further improve um, the program for future participants. Um, good, so module two is, is all about customer service excellence. Um, here, the decision for you to make is, you know, what, what will your change project be and, and, and start executing on it. Uh, here you can expect topics like customer service, negotiation skills, time management, um, customer feedback and driving results. And then on to the third module, which is all about teamwork and leadership. Um, this is uh, a module where we have a fewer number of courses, but longer, especially leadership skills is a, is a big topic, of course. And this module also includes your second live coaching session with my colleague and business partner, Kevin. Um, and with that, at the end of June, that, that kind of 
concludes our curriculum and and then between june and mid-november you'll have time to work on your change projects at your hotels and then submit a report uh, to us which we will review together with aicr and then probably the most fun part is the graduation ceremony which we we always do an online um, session and of course for those of you attending the upcoming uh, AICR Congress, it's even better to do this in person. Um, any any comments, Louise or Dries, on, on this slide before yeah, we move one on? One thing I would just add is it's designed in a way, um, when I um, took part in the leadership certification, um, my year was 2020, 2020, I say tentatively, <laughs> Uh, what I find really great is the structure of starting with yourself, looking within self-reflection, realizing what your natural predisposition is to leadership, to work, um, and this MBI assessment, which Peter's going to go into, that really gives you an insight into how you work, how you operate. Then in module two, you look at how you interact with others, um, the core crux of hospitality, guest service, um, and then in the final module, you see how you inspire others um, by using your skill set, your personality, your predisposition to how you interact with others, to uh, then looking at how you want guests in your property to be treated. Then you see in module three, how you inspire others to make that vision a reality. So I think it's really well designed in that order. Um, and one other thing that you mentioned earlier, Peter, um, that's so great about the, um, the design of this certification is you can log on and take part in these different courses as and when time allows. We all know in hospitality, sometimes dedicating a set time on a Monday afternoon that might go out the window when you get a big group arrival surprise you um, in the hotel lobby. So what's lovely is you can log in um, and take part in these courses as and when fits into your schedule. Um, so that flexibility um, is really, really useful and helps you make sure you're hitting all the targets um, and ticking, bo ticking off all of the objectives. That's all from me. Thank you, Louise. And that's actually a, a great segue to our next slide, uh, when, which talks about the, the methodology. And, um, you know, as Louise said, it was really important for us to um, when looking at all these topics that um, that we um, got from AICR that would be useful for for you as members, that we put them into a, into a sequence, into a, into a flow that builds on, on on each other, so that we start with self awareness. And that's a foundation for development, as Louis said, then we go into more specific skill development that are needed in your industry. And then uh, in module three, kind of putting this in the context of working with and leading others. And then of course, throughout the program, uh, helping you with live coaching. And then at the end of the, the curriculum, uh, giving you an opportunity to apply these skills. Good, um, next let's, I spoke about this briefly already, but let's let's take a look at um, you know what kind of e-learning content you can um, expect and how it gets to you. So we curated um, uh, about 25 different uh, e-learning courses that best address these topics. Um, again, these have been hand curated and, and reviewed uh, by by the design team and they come from award-winning content providers that we work with a lot and then once again uh, there is a dedicated learning management system for for aicr that hosts all your courses and gives you uh, 24 7 access to your courses um, Next, let's take a look at the NBI assessment. So I mentioned in the program architecture overview section that we kick off the program with the NBI assessment. So what this is, is a assessment of thinking preferences. And we use this a lot in many of our other uh, Lighthouse programs. Um, I've done it myself. The whole Lighthouse team has done it and we also use it with clients, obviously. 
So um, the MBI assessment itself is the most comprehensive assessment for of, of whole brain thinking instruments uh, currently in existence. And it, it measures, you, measures your thinking preferences. And of course, your thinking preferences ha have implications on how you communicate, how you work with others, how you negotiate, how you handle conflict. Um, so going back to this slide here, so this is a very good um, kind of way to kick off the self-awareness uh, piece and, and build that foundation. Uh, this is all done online um, and you'll receive the login information to this assessment uh, immediately after the live kickoff webinar, which we do in January. Uh, it takes about 25, 30 minutes. And then you have a report after this um, that, that you can read yourself and which will also be an important input for the coaching sessions. And so the coaching sessions, the first one, uh, with Kevin, you will review your NBI profile and, and, and create an NBI action plan, set your individual personalized goals for the leadership certification program. And then in the second coaching session, um, you'll follow up on these goals. You'll get a little bit of guidance on your change project and, and see how you can um, make this development sustainable. Um, and then finally, let's, yeah, let's, let's take a look at the, the change project. Um, as I said, um, the reason why we uh, added this to the, to the whole program is to help you apply these new skills that you acquired during the leadership, leadership certification. Um, and, um, you know, find an area at your hotel uh, that you would like to, um, you know, improve, change, um, and, and take some of these new ideas, inputs into carrying or executing that change. Uh, you are uh, encouraged to involve stakeholders, colleagues, team members um, at your hotel. And then, of course, um, you'll receive guidance in your coaching session on, on how to um, implement this. We have a nice structure for how to build your report. Um, so you'll get a lot of uh, help to, to execute on this. Um, and at, once you have carried this out, uh, we'll ask you to submit a short report, which we will evaluate. And, and the best one um, will, uh, AICR is kind enough to um, award a fully paid conference package, excluding travel to the participant with the best change project. Um, and I feel like, um, Louise, you might want to add something here because, uh, you know, both Louise uh, and I and, and Kevin and others from the AICR International Committee, we looked at a number of change projects uh, in the last two years. Um, we saw a, a, a real breadth of different uh, types of uh, projects from, you know, improving customer experience, uh, you know, bringing in a, a new digital tool to communicate with guests. Um, uh, what what were your favorites, Louise? Oh, I can't pick favorites. Um, <laughs> but you're right. It was amazing to see um, the broad scope of what changes could be implemented um, and highlighted in this project. So I think the ones that were most successful, I won't be too specific, were, were the ones um, that chose an issue that was really both a professional issue but that they had a personal um uh, agenda to fix you know that they really wanted to see this transform and to be able to um to be proud of of change that they had implemented um so yes it was improving something in the, you know the professional world but it also gave them a professional um a, a personal kick that yes i oversaw that from start to finish um, and that was my work um, because often um, with change and things like that it can go from one person to the next to the next to the next and whose change was it you know it gets lost and diluted 
uh, but with the change project, really it's taking ownership of the change and overseeing it from start to finish, which is really fulfilling. Um, so I do have a couple that come to mind, but I think in general, it's those that they had this internal drive to make that, that certain aspect of their property better um, and improved in some way. Right. Thank you, Louise. Yeah. Um, and then I think, you know, we spoke a lot about um, the curriculum, the change project. I, I think another important aspect of the program is kind of the networking opportunity that you can get to know other participants from different AICR countries. So this is our participant list from last year. Um, when we, one of the reasons we do the live kickoff webinar in January uh, to start the program is, is also for you to um, meet each other. Some of you will already have met in, in AICR congresses or experiences, um, but for, for others, it will be the first time to meet at least online. So I, I see this also as a, as, as a bit of a networking opportunity uh, within, within AICR. Um, and then with that, we come to the favorite part of the presentation for me, because this is where we pat ourselves on, on the back and, and you know, see, show, show the very lovely uh, feedback that uh, previous participants shared with us. Um, I'm not going to go into more detail here, um, but we will definitely share the slides with you. So I think what's important to mention is that we, as I said, collect both course level and program level feedback and both quantitative and qualitative. Um, so, the, you know, the quantitative feedback, that's great makes us, keeps us motivated. Um, and then um, the quantitative feedback, you know, we, we used to make sure that um, the entire experience, you know, the communication from us, you know, is it too much, too little, clear, not clear, um, the coaching session, those are usually the highlights uh, of the program that always receives close to um, uh, 10 points on a scale of one to 10, um, you know, how, how applicable are the courses based on this feedback? We have done small tweaks to the curriculum over the years. We have exchanged some courses and replaced them with others. Um, we also ask you about the user experience because uh, our main objective here is to make it easy for you to learn. Uh, so with that comes the goal of making the, Kind of the IT around it, the learning management system, in the interaction with that, very easy for you. Um, and then we also ask you, like, hey, would you recommend this program to to other members in AICR? Um, in terms of program costs, um, so AICR uh, significantly subsidizes the program costs, uh, which include design and, and running the program. Um, when it comes to fixed costs. Um, and then the, the total participant contribution for the full program for this full six month learning journey uh, is 845 euros, which includes VAT. So this would be um, the part, the, the contribution from, from your side, if you want to be part of this program and um, the rest of the costs are covered by AICR. Um, well, and with, Peter, just yes. one thing I would say, just on the costs, um, I think it's always worth, um, if you are interested in applying to join um, the cohort, it's worth, well, firstly, out of good practice to inform your manager, but also um, it can be worthwhile putting together a proposal to see if your property would help fund um, your course costs. This is continual personal development. Um, and we were actually just before this this call, the three of us were having a catch up about how um, upskilling and, and training is one of the main focuses in the industry at the moment. So it may well be that your hotel, your manager might um, might be able to help you with the costs of this. Um, so I would say out of good practice to make sure your manager, um, your line manager is aware. 
um, but also see if they would be willing to support. Um, certainly when I participated, my, um, my hotel um, helped me. They didn't pay for it in its entirety, but they helped me with some a contribution towards the, the cost of the programme. Thank you, Louise. Um, yeah, and then let's, you know, finally, let's let's take a look at some of the um, milestones ahead of us or, or next steps. Um, so if you like the program, um, we would kindly ask you to submit your application by the 1st of December uh, to Louise directly. Um, and then once we have the list of participants, um, we would ask you to pay the participant contribution um, fee to AICR uh, by the end of the year. And as I said, then we kick off the program uh, in, in January next year with a live session. And as a final slide, I just wanted to share the profiles of my colleagues with you. Uh, you know, some of you already know Kevin, he'll be your coach. He'll be uh, doing both live coaching sessions with you. And my colleague, Christina, um, she helps uh, with training coordination, um, helps to run the program very smoothly. And if for some reason I'm not available, she can always help you you know, accessing your, the learning management system or with any other um, uh, questions that you might have. And that brings us to the end of the presentation. Um, Louise, Dries, um, any comments, questions? Uh, did I forget to mention anything about this program? Uh, I don't think so. I think that gives a uh... Uh, a good insight for those that are watching that are interested um, in applying. I would just emphasize the warm invitation to ask us questions. If there's anything that remains unanswered after watching this, then please, please reach out to us um, and ask us any questions. Um, Dries, do you have anything from your side that we might have missed or? Um... No, this is really a great opportunity for all uh, AICR members and uh, team members of uh, the hotels that are working uh, to develop personally and professionally, especially during this very difficult uh, time that we are uh, um, going through for the, the last years. Uh, so um, go ahead and, and push yourselves to develop your uh, your skills because um, it's important for your personal well-being but also the uh, advancement in our industry to help people uh, see that there's more to it than uh, what meets the eye well said very well said well said exactly thank you um with that we will um finish the recording of this uh, webinar here and we hope to see you in the program thank you thank you bye bye bye